So Fox News was doing what I'm assuming was their 542nd segment on critical race theory for the week when a guest drops by far one of the hottest takes of 2021, if not a nuclear take that will live on in infamy for all of eternity. I mean, I don't even know how to properly introduce this segment. It really is that bad. And it's so ignorant that this individual who's arguing against critical race theory is going to inadvertently make the case for people who's pushing for education when it comes to racism and slavery in schools because it proves that if this level of ignorance is actually prevalent then we need to teach critical race theory and racism and history immediately like we have to start yesterday that's how bad it is if this belief is actually widespread but without further ado let's watch the segment yeah, because they're they're very invested in this whole idea that the nation was founded on the idea of systemic racism, that it's built into every single institution in America, even in the military. Um, folks are worried that this is something that they need to address within the military. And we just did a story about how the Navy is underprepared right now, but they're spending a heck of a lot of time on this. What do you think about that? It's absolutely absurd because nobody really wants to get the real history of it. America was not founded on racism. Now, don't get me wrong. Yeah, there was slavery going on, but slavery itself was not initially a racist thing. It never was about race initially. So to sit there and take it like America was founded on racism, it's a complete lie. Yeah, there was slavery going on, but slavery was going on in all the world. It never was a race thing. So why are we making it a race thing now? Ty Smith, thank you for being here. Good to have you with us today. Thank you. I don't even know where to begin. I don't even know that it's necessary for me to dignify that stupidity with a response, given that I don't actually believe that that person believes the foolishness that came out of his mouth. And if he does, then this is all the more reason to mandate education when it comes to slavery and racism and the history of such in schools. Um, because if this is what you believe, then uh, you're making my case for me. You're proving the critical race theorists right. It's just, uh, it's absurd. And I don't even understand the argumentation. So he says that slavery itself was not initially a racist thing. So at what point did it become racist? Was it like some SJWs who were like, hey, I'm realizing that it's only black people who are enslaved. I just, I, I'm trying to wrap my mind around the logic here and, and it's just i'm drawing a blank i don't even think i should like respond to his argument as if he was making that in good faith but i mean we'll, we'll play along for a little bit the reason why your argument is absurd on its face is because racism and slavery are inextricably linked slavery is inherently racist black people were enslaved because it was believed that they were inferior to whites. It was literally in the US Constitution. It was actually codified into law that blacks were three fifths of humans. The vice president of the Confederacy, as Cody Johnston shares on Twitter, literally argued that it was normal and natural for whites to enslave blacks because they were superior. But yet you're claiming that slavery wasn't initially a racist thing. I mean, I refuse to believe that you're serious. I, I refuse, I reject this notion that you're a good faith actor and you're just misguided to say something like that. And he repeated it like, you know, he didn't misspeak. He said it twice to actually argue that slavery wasn't racist initially is so absurd that nobody should take you seriously. But believe it or not, this individual is saying those silly things that he probably doesn't believe because he wants people to take him seriously. He's pandering to conservatives because he knows uh, that, you know, this is a really lucrative thing to pander to uh, white supremacists and conservative bigots in America. That is something that is incredibly lucrative. And this person, the only reason why he's on Fox News is because he went viral in a video where he showed up at an Illinois school board meeting and he denounced critical race theory. And he went on this long rant that was totally not scripted, totally organic, totally not astroturfed. And it blew up. And now all of a sudden he has, you know, th this fame that fell into his lap. Except, you know, it's not that simple. He didn't become famous in conservative circles by starting out as a concerned parent. 
This is a YouTuber who started posting videos years ago. Now, it started off with him posting mostly apolitical YouTube videos where he talks about religion or fitness, basically innocent, benign subjects. And then he realized that there wasn't much clicks and views in that, so he pivoted to making react videos where he reacts to country music and other songs. But then he basically stumbled upon a gold mine where he realized that it's a lot more lucrative to pander to conservative bigots who want you to push the narrative that they're currently trying to push. And the narrative that they're all spreading right now is that critical race theory is bad. And all of his appearances on Fox News, on uh, RT, on all of these networks are shared on his YouTube channel. Oh, and that's not all. I don't think that it's a coincidence that he happens to be personal friends with Candace Owens, even going so far as to call her his little sister lovingly. So folks, let's call this what it is. This is a grift. He's being purposefully obtuse. He's pretending to be ignorant about basic facts, basic concepts that any adult with a functioning brain should be able to comprehend. Of course, it's the case that slavery is racist. To suggest otherwise, I mean, it really goes to show you how desperate conservatives are, that they will make fools of themselves to run cover for conservatives in this country who are just pushing an agenda. And, you know, this week it's critical race theory, next week it'll be something else. But he knows, this individual knows that it is very lucrative if you do what conservatives want. Because it's a lot more convenient when a person of color says racist things, so that way the white supremacists on Fox News don't get accused of racism. There's a reason why Fox News will bring on uh, lesbians or gay men like Dave Rubin to denounce LGBTQ plus equality. There's a reason why Fox News will bring on Candace Owens to tell you that the Black Lives Matter movement is a terrorist organization. It's because if they say it, well, you know, there's no plausible deniability. It doesn't look like a benign political assessment. It looks like they're making a racist statement. But if they have somebody from that community to throw their own community under a bus, well, then it's a lot more believable for propagandist uh, purposes. So this is just, it's, it's gross. It's disgusting. And, you know, this YouTuber might be making a lot of money for uh, saying these things and making a fool of himself. But at the end of the day, you still have to live with yourself. You still have to, you know, um, sleep at night. And if the money helps you sleep at night, great. But this is just, it's gross. And you should feel gross for saying something, not only that deeply hurtful and offensive, but stupid as well. Right here. Recovery mode, my brain ideas. Recovery mode, my brain ideas. 